Hey guys, it's Lafayette here, along with Ella. We're on a live stream, and SPC Phoenix EAS right here in the chat. So a little bit of an update. Um, five. It just got updated from 5 p.m. to 12 a.m., meaning we could get a watch probably in the late afternoon. And yeah, that's literally the update. I'm just saying. Because <clears throat> they just issued another hazardous weather outlook on Indianapolis and another day one enhanced consecutive risk. Which, if we go ahead and open this, maybe they updated this. That's about it. And they added some more marginal risks near like. New Mexico, I think that is. They also added an enhanced risk. No, they have still have the enhanced risk. Didn't add that. And my phone is acting up. Weird. It's acting up. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. He just ask, is is it gonna be an SVA or a TOA? I feel like it will be an SVA because an I I don't maybe a TOA because isolated tornadoes are possible, but I would say an SVA because the main threat is just damaging winds and maybe some hail. Not a huge threat of tornadoes, but that could change today after in the late afternoon we go ahead and check the SPC outlook so we're gonna go ahead and bring the SPC outlooks up Let's check a consecutive outlook okay we're first gonna go on the day one outlook so with the main threat, slight enhanced. Enhanced is like Louisville, Evansville, yeah, and then slight Indianapolis, Cincinnati, Lexington, Fayette, and marginals like Cleveland, Akron, Columbus, Boston, Boston, Ohio, not Okay. That is just the other thing. I don't care about that. New Mexico, this region will be influenced by a relatively moist air mass over, yeah, that's just about, because I think there's that marginal for, like, New Mexico. I want to see the damaging winds, how to see the tornado. Okay, tornado threat. <clears throat> we're pro Maybe we're actually going to get a tornado watch because there's a 10% tornado risk in, like, Louisville. I bet there is wind threat, 5% for all listed areas, including me. Hail threat, there's no hail threat. <clears throat> Maybe a tornado watch, I'd say. And what does she have pulled up? Oh, she has the weather channel pulled up, I'm assuming. Look at those hot temperatures. It's not focusing. Well, I'm using my camera to externally record this. It's hot. Hurricane. Mm, where in like, I don't know what it says. There it's in like the hundreds, but. Yeah. I don't know what it says. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get hit by some of the remnants of Hurricane Burl. It's going to be like a tropical depression when it hits me. Not too bad. Just some thunderstorms, maybe some severe, but not destructive. Although, when I'm back in Louisiana. My cousins live in Houston and they're about to get. So. Yeah. So, they're coming here though, so it should be fine. And, by the way, I think in the fall we might get some tropical storms or like hurricanes, because that's when usually it hits Louisiana. That's when it usually hits my part. Or, 
like our part of the country down in the south central it usually hits around fall so i don't really know i don't think we have to worry about anything but i really wanted to be home for that hurricane event because there was a storm surge watch for KHP 42 and I could have picked it up if I was at my house, but I'm all the way in like south, like just south central. No, not south central, south west central. I don't know. I'm literally, look, I'm on the border like Let's say I'm like in the middle, but on like the really right side. Here is the map of Louisiana right now. Or like that's Louisiana. Like oh, it's yeah. all over there. Look at all that rain. Look at all that, um, what is it? Precipitation. Very. We're somewhere around here ish. Yeah. Yeah, we're near yeah. Lafayette. That's why my name is. Um, <clears throat> SPC Lafayette, cause we live. Yep. Let's go in towards Texas. I know Texas got hit. Yeah, my cousins are coming in tomorrow because um, they just want to be out of it. Yeah, I'm glad it ended. That was probably a nightmare for all those people living in Texas. Rain in Alaska. That guy says there's rain in Alaska. I'm just gonna end this recording now.